Kindly face. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow creeps in this petty pace till I run out of ammo. Bang, bang. Come in, come in. <laughs> Old Matus home is yours. Mi casa e su casa, as my ma used to say. At least I think that's what it means. So, what brings you up here? Come to chat? Come to trade? Well, sure. <laughs> Just an old mother living out the end of the world, huh? And this old helio, he, helio, hel, helio catopter makes a mighty good sniper's nest for any dead wood what come waltzing by. This am I lonely at times. But that makes the occasional visitor all the sweeter. <laughs> Listen to me talking your ear off already. I got a million stories. But I'm sure you're here for a reason. So, what's your deal? What don't I got is a better question. Ah, oh, let's see. What would a youngin' like you want to hear? I was born a long time ago, around the time the Deadwood showed up. World were different then. People knew how to treat folk. You'd see more humans in Deadwood then, always fighting together, helping each other out. It was just uh, Ma and me then. Hiding in basements, tool sheds, hospitals, any place what had four strong walls and defendable doors. Oh. She used to spin stories of the old world. She saw it all. Why, I remember this tale when... when... <laughs> nah. Some other time. You've probably got folks to get back to now, yeah? Okay. Hmm. Ma used to tell me about the old world. This place was called the Usa. And it was huge, stretched from one ocean to other. <laughs> this place were filled with people, more of them than was fit for counting, all working together, huh? Making the world a better place. Why, they had people on the moon, they had talking animals, they had water what could heal you just by looking at it. I reckon you don't believe me. No one does. But the world was a damn paradise afford the Deadwood King. I can tell you more if you're up for it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh. Ah. So I was on a scrounge with the crazy eight one time. Mm -hmm. We found this old uh, hospital, see? Full of Deadwood. Basement, though. Oh, basement now was full of folk. All trapped there for as long as anyone's guess. Well, the root found them the same time we did. Others ran, but not me. They were folk. They had meds. So I fought for them. Tooth and nail. Literally. Biting the damn dead wood off me. The rest of the crazy eight saw me and said, Damn! That's a mutter what's got some teeth. Uh-huh. <laughs> the name Mud Tooth stuck ever since. I ain't putting you to sleep now, am I? <laughs> All right. I used to lead the mud dogs, I tell you that. They were my gang for nigh on 60 years. Back at Sanctuary, we were called the Crazy Eight. <laughs> we went places no one else would. Found the best ground Sanctuary ever saw. Good times. Good times. Root ran scared of us, they did. I reckon we killed more dead wood in our day than old Ford himself. Most of Brabus's young mutters don't know that crazy ain't no more. But that's their legacy. Sure is sure. What time is it? Probably too late for another, yeah? All right. You read much? I read everything I can get my hands on. The bell jar. Dune, Catch 2-2, something about a guy called Malcolm X. 
Oh, oh, oh! There's this one I keep coming back to. The, 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 the eater not, ed, ed or not, ed, ed, doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's about these aliens. What kill everyone who live? Uh-huh. It's got uh, insect aliens. It's got human aliens. It's got giant building-sized aliens. It's even got aliens what control the other aliens. Oh, <laughs> I reckon the writer thought he was spinning fiction, but I'll be goddamned if it ain't the most real thing I ever read. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sure you got better things to do than listen to an old mutter. <laughs> sure thing. I used to run with the mud dogs, you know? Hell, I used to lead them before Brabus took over. Brabus is my boy, he is. You might say he always let us. The old mud dogs fought for him since he could chew. Later on, of course, the old mud dogs got a little long in the tooth and the young uns took Brabus as their own. Well, I know when a good thing's a good thing, so I stepped back, I did. Brabus has been leading the pack ever since. Here now, I've been talking your ear off. Okay. Hmm. It's a funny thing. So, I used to have to keep an ear out for dead. Yeah, had to pick them off before they climbed up here. Weren't hard, but wouldn't you know it? The dead ones stopped coming. <laughs> I never known Deadwood to be the quitting type. That's best on account of that time I killed 300 of them for breakfast. <laughs> 300 of them <laughs> for breakfast. I ain't complaining, of course. Give me plenty of time to read. Ah, look at me. You were probably out looking for scrounge. I should let you go. Ah, ain't surprised. Don't be a strict. <coughs> Pull up a pot, friend, little. I cooked up some. Take care, young'un. Don't be a stranger. 